Greetings. My name is John Fromm and my wife Tammy and our son Noah are neighbors here in Centerville. And we're taking the time to make this video today as a way to extend a warm invitation to all those who would be interested in joining a weekly non-denominational Christian Bible study that meets each Tuesday at 7 o'clock here at our home. Now let me share a little bit with you about what to expect out of this Bible study. Because really, th there are two parts to any good Bible study. The first one is that we're immersed in the Word of God. And the way we do that is we pick a particular book. And then we're just finishing up the Gospel of John and we'll soon be in the book of Acts. And the way we'll learn um, this book is by considering line upon line, scripture upon scripture, chapter upon chapter, so that we get the fullness of the Word of God. So there's nothing that we're skipping. Very important. And the other thing, obviously, is we want to know what is the original intent of the biblical writers as the Holy Spirit is using them as instruments to communicate the words of God. So God the Father gave the words of life to His Son, Jesus Christ. His Son gave those words of life to the apostles, and the apostles had those words written down for our benefit today. Because we do think in the busyness of life, and there is so much that is thrown at us, that it seems that one of the things that often gets over neglected is our souls, and, uh, and the Word of God is meant to enrich and to strengthen and nourish our souls so that we would know our Lord Jesus Christ at a better level than we do today. And so I'm simply trying to make the point that we're not getting together as some intellectual or academic exercise, but that our faith would grow. That's our desire, right? That we would be sanctified by the Word of God so that we would become more like Christ. So we don't pretend that any of us are perfect because we're not. The Really, the only question is, is are we growing in our faith? And the whole purpose of Tuesday night is to help that growth. I hope that makes sense. The second part of any good Bible study is that we would have a good discussion because that's the definition of fellowship, isn't it? Where people get together and talk about the things of God. So it is our desire, again, as we look at our Bibles, that we would know the context, the original meaning, the theology, the doctrine, the application, so that we would know how to live as Christians and that we can just discuss those things and encourage one another um, as we're considering the Word of God. Now, regarding a group size, uh, it ranges from 7 to 14, depending on people's availability. The ages can be has been as young as 8 and 10. We've had uh, in the teens, the 20s, and people in the 50 plus like myself. So all ages, um, um, all backgrounds, and so every Christian denomination that you can think of um, is, has been represented one way or the other uh, through this group. So again, this we're not coming together as a way to sell each other our churches or our particular denominations. No, that's not our intention, that's not our purpose, but it is to focus on the Word of God so that we would grow in our faith in Jesus Christ. That, that, that is the intention of this Bible study. But let me also stop and say this, for those of you that have inquired about Christianity, you're not a Christian today, but you, you have questions. You want to know whether Christianity is true or not. You don't want to believe in a fairy tale. And I want you to know I respect that. And this group, um, uh, I want to extend a warm invitation to you as well. For anybody that has honest questions about Christianity, I, I want to encourage you to come and ask your questions. It w no one will be offended, I assure you of that. Um, we'll do our best to answer them to the fullness based on the faith that God has given us. Uh, maybe some questions might require some research. But it just seems to me that we live in an age where everything is so fast that it seems like we, we're, we seem to be too timid about answering questions or, or if we ask questions that maybe will cause offense. So if you have honest questions about Christianity, um, then um, by all means, uh, please come. We'd be delighted and privileged to have you. And because, you see, don't think at all we're going to sell Christ to you as if somehow he's a, he's a used car. No, no, we have way too much respect for him for that. Christ is not to be sold, he's to be believed. And if you've got questions, we'll be happy to answer them. And, um, and, and where that leads you and takes you, well, we trust that in God and in your hands. All right? So if you are a non-Christian but you have questions, by all means, please come and join the group. What else you can also expect in the group is any other good Bible study is good treats. We typically have homemade desserts every week. We have coffee, juice, water, tea, and things of that nature as well. Well, I hope I've given you much to consider and to think about. And if you're available on Tuesdays at 7 o'clock, by all means, 
Uh, we'd love to meet you in person. Thank you for taking your time to listen. Grace be with you.